presenting this movie to you, we want to tell you at the outset that there are no Sally Rands in it and no cuddly cuties. It isn't colossal or stupendous, and we didn't spend the price of a new battleship on it, but it has its points. It is a business movie about the business we are all engaged in. It has to do with the most important phase of our business, the safe and efficient driving of coaches and its influence upon the public. It is so very important because it's so closely tied up with the amount of our revenue, the money you and I get in our pay envelopes. As our business prospers, we prosper with it. We're all in the same bus, you might say. We can't get there until the bus does. If some of us throw sand in the engine bearings and water the gas, all of us will be penalized. Some of the experienced drivers may feel that what we show in this movie is old stuff, that they don't need to be shown anything about driving coaches. To a certain extent, that's true. But none of us can ever get too much information about our jobs. It reminds me of the farmer to whom a book agent tried to sell a book on farming. The farmer said, no, I won't buy it. As a matter of fact, I don't farm near as good now as I know how to. It's human to be a bit like that. Most of us don't drive as good as we really know how to. A good coach driver has to attend to a tremendous number of details, has to do them just right. Now, somebody once said, trifles make perfection, but perfection is no trifle, meaning that to get those last trifles for perfection is a tough job, and it is. You are professional drivers, and the best of amateur drivers, because you have to allow for the Sunday drivers and guess what they're going to do next. Almost anybody can drive a car in Detroit and usually does. The same is true of any large city. People of poor skill and worst intelligence swarm the streets in cars, practically asking for accidents. It is your duty to avoid, by your extra skill, accidents which these amateurs would otherwise cause by their bad driving. We provide you with the best equipment to be had. These Ford Metropolitan coaches are the most modern available today. They are kept up as no private automobile ever is. They are as nearly perfect as we can maintain them. But we can't take you into the shop and adjust your carburetor or reline your metal brakes. You have to do that yourself. And this movie is intended to help you. For the newer driver, let's call this movie original equipment. For the experienced driver, let's say it's overhaul and replacement of metal processes that get a bit worn with time and strain. We can't run you up to a pump and pour a fresh batch of courtesy and patience into you every morning, but we hope you can do that for yourself. As one of the drivers aptly remarked, more passengers, more work. One thing we've done with this movie is pack it tight. We've made it go fast. It is all worthwhile, and it takes close attention to get every bit of it. Okay, let's go on with the dancing tin types. A neat and clean appearance is just as important to you as to any other salesman who comes in contact with his customers. Always shave before you go to work. Make sure your hair is combed, your tie neatly arranged, your shoes shined, your uniform pressed. Neatness and cleanliness make for friendliness and courtesy, for consideration of the other fellow. But most important of all, a fresh, clean body makes you more alert. Your reaction time is less. You're able to respond more quickly to unusual and dangerous situations as they arise. It is important for any man to go to work in a happy frame of mind. No matter what his job, he'll do it better. This is most important for a coach driver because of his dealings with the public. And we all know that sometimes the public is hard to get along with. If you go to work in a placid frame of mind, you will have the necessary patience. One look at this driver will convince you that he's not going to frighten old ladies and stir up the wrath of the public. Questions do not annoy this driver. Regardless of how unnecessary or silly they seem, he always has a courteous answer. He knows that courtesy builds goodwill and that goodwill builds business. Now let's look into another home. Wonder if the lady wants a new dress or suspects hubby of blonde trouble. He certainly is dishing it right back to her, which steams him up all the more. I'm very much afraid he'll be tough on transmission gears and brake linings today, and heaven help the poor passengers. Now see what happens. The driver's still thinking of things he should have told the wife. His answer is something like this. Nah, this isn't Dexter.